Hey everyone, what is going on? So we have another showcase for you today, and this time it's going to be in the Ultra Halloween Cup. Taking a look at a spicy team, a pretty spicy team with Crawdont. So Crawdont is really unique, I have not seen it yet. And then we have the Burn Drive Genesect, usually you see the chill one, at least from my experience, that's the only one I've seen. And then we have Togekiss, so really cool team. Let's go ahead and dive right into these battles to see how uh, they play out. We do see that Crab Hammer going into the Alolan Muck, and then the Genesect switching in. They can't go for a poison attack, so they go for the Dark Pulse. It does do a lot of damage, of course, uh, and they bring in Drift Blimp, so the Chill version would be really nice here. But uh, we're still going to see a Techno Blast, and this is still going to do a lot of damage. Uh, yep, doing a lot of damage, but not enough to KO, of course. And now the Magnet Bomb coming in. Genesect is a great Pokemon all around in this meta. It really is. And we do see the Shield there. Uh, they go in for the Hex down. I think they are. Oh, they are, and they do get it before the next Magnet Bomb. So nice farm down there by the opponent. Uh, so Crodon is resisting both of the moves, which is good, but it's really frail. So it, it probably could take this, but uh, I see. Actually, no, I see when it could take really well. Okay, so Shadow Ball would do more, but I see when it could take. Uh, well, this is probably the Shadow Ball. No, it's another Icy Wind. So unfortunate there. So we're going to see an over farm. They get to another move. I'll bet you this is another Icy Wind. Uh, so Icy Wind coming out. Not enough to KO. The in comes Togekiss to farm down. Saving that energy on Crawdon. I do like that because you were, what, triple debuffed? So saving all of that energy. And out comes the Togekiss. Togekiss will be hit with an attack. Going to be an Acid Spray. It's a good thing they have Acid Spray instead of like Sludge Wave or something. Able to charm down. Very nice. Uh, and in comes Toxicroak. Trying to get to the Flamethrower. Able to get to it. So, they pretty much have to shield this, right? I mean, this would do a lot. Oh, or they could call it. Uh, maybe they call the Ancient Power. Um, but either way, Togekiss can farm down. If they shielded that Flamethrower, you would have had uh, the uh, uh, Crab Hammers on that Crawdon, right? But either way, the next one. Uh, we're looking at Crawdon into Bishop. So, a spicy matchup, actually. Going to go ahead and go for this Crab Hammer right now. This is going to be doing some... Pretty good damage. Uh, I mean, that's a really frail Pokemon. They do go ahead and shield it, and Bishop is going to go ahead and get off its attack. Uh, it's going to be Dark Pulse. Doing a lot, even though it's resisted, because, as I said, Crodon is a really frail Pokemon. They're going to be going for another attack. Crodon going to go ahead and respect it. it that would have KO'd, even though it's resisted. They switch out. Uh, so Crab Hammer coming out. Crab Hammer is a really good move. Uh, in general, uh, Needle Queen doing a lot of damage. In comes Genesect. Does Genesect want to farm down while well, it wants to? Is it going to be able to? And I'll say yes, because they're throwing the Poison Fang, and you do resist that. So as long as they don't threaten you uh, with an Earth Power, but I guess not going to go ahead and risk it. Going to go ahead and throw the Magnet Bomb, because the Fury Cutters are resisted. So that will take care of the Needle Queen. In comes Bishop. Able to get off the Techno Blast. This easily KOs the Bishop uh, if they let this one go. Or if they decide to shield, they do let it go. That is going to KO Bishop. In comes it, uh, Giratina. And Giratina is really common in this meta. So that's another reason why the Chill one generally is superior because a lot of things are weak to ice that are really strong in this meta. But still, I mean, the Fire one still really uh, powerful as well. Dragon Claw actually not going to be able to KO, but we do see switching to Togekiss, and this is going to be a GG's. There's nothing this Giratina can do, even if it's Ancient Power. I'm going to go ahead and shield for good measure. Why not? Uh, it is actually Ancient Power. It wouldn't KO, but, you know, might as well shield. Anyway, good game. We'll play to both trainers there, so very nicely done. Uh, we are going to be moving into the next battle. We'll see how the next game goes. It's going to be Crowdot into Needle Queen. Okay, so... Um, uh, I, I don't know. I, I know the Crab Hammer does a lot, which is good, but I mean, you're taking a lot from the Poison Jab and Poison Fang attacks, and you're getting debuffed. Uh, but they actually let that go, which is really nice, actually. So, I'm gonna go ahead and let this one go. It's gonna be a Poison Fang, totally fine. We're gonna see switch into Genesect. Genesect. I don't know if they're at the, the Earth Power or not. I wasn't counting. I, I wanna say they're not. Yeah, it's Poison Fang, very nice. Uh, and we do see a switch into Mandibuzz. Okay, so this is not the chill version. Again, the chill version, obviously super effective against Mandibuzz, but that is okay. We're going to see this Technoblast come out. Although the Technoblast, the burn version, is strong against opposing Genesex, right? Got you there, didn't I? So, uh, no, I mean, the, the, the burn version is still a really good one in this meta as well. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go for, or uh, we're going to see this Technoblast come out. That will pick up the shield. So if we get a shield from Mandibuzz, you'll love to see it. They go in for the farm down and they do get it. You do have the Togekiss, which 
does a good job at walling mandibles. Aerial Ace is neutral, but you could still take the Aerial Ace. Uh, they actually go for the Foul Play. Definitely want to go for the Aerial Ace there, but they actually concede, I guess. Uh, okay, they didn't think they could win that one. Good game. Let's go ahead and move in to the next battle. Uh, so Crudunt into Gramble. This is awful. This is like the worst matchup you can get. I'm going to go ahead and go into Genesect. They are staying in. Look how much Genesect... Genesect you know Genesect resists Charm, right? I know it doesn't look like it does, but it does resist Charm. Uh, can they get... I think they can get to another Magnet Bomb. Not before... Oh, no, I guess Gramble can throw. Maybe take a shield. So Gramble does take a shield. You can make it to the... Oh, they switch out into Needle Queen. Okay. So, okay, the burn... Uh, Techno Blast is coming out, and this is going to do a lot of damage. Trying to get to a Magnet Bomb. Come on, Genesect, you can do it, and you can do it. So this uh, Magnet Bomb is coming out, and that is going to be enough to KO the Needle Queen. Very nice. They do bring in Gramble. Uh, yeah, I mean you gotta bring in your Togekiss. Uh, should be able to chomp down. They might get to an attack. You do resist it. They don't get to an attack, but even if you resist it, like it would still KO. Uh, in comes Crobat, able to get off this Ancient Power, you love to see it, so Ancient Power is, of course, going to be super effective. Uh, so, um, uh, they do shield it, which is good, but the only thing is uh, the Poison Fang. Not going to shield the first one, I, I do understand. Uh, actually, it's a Cross Poison, okay. So they actually have Cross Poison. This should be fine, though, because you could throw the Crab Hammer and then a Night Slash, and should be enough to take it out, right? I, I would say so. Uh, they do get off an attack, but you could shield this. Yeah, gonna go ahead and shield this, and a uh, Night Slash should be enough to pick up the knockout against the Crobat. Uh, and here comes the Night Slash, and yeah, this is gonna KO. And that's gonna be a beautiful game, very well played to both trainers, but this Night Slash easily gonna KO that Crobat. Yeah, well played. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and move into the next game, I believe. I wanna say this is the final game of the video. Crota into Giratina. Okay, um, you're doing super effective damage, although you're still taking a lot because of how frail... Uh, Crudon is, but Crudon will be able to get off this attack right now, this Night Slash. Super effective damage. Uh, not enough to... Uh, maybe the next one... Uh, no, I don't think the next one would KO, but able to catch on Genesect. So, very good catch. This is going to be a Dragon Claw. No, it's going to be a Shadow Sneak. I thought it would be a Dragon Claw. Um, but, okay. So, Genesect is resisting these Dragon Breath attacks, right? Uh, because it is a Steel type, a Shadow Sneak, it's taking neutral damage from... Uh, we're going to see a Magnet Bomb come in this thing in with the Genesect. Oh, not the Genesect, the Giratina, excuse me. The Magnet Bomb will be enough to KO, so they let it go. What is coming in going to be an Alolan Mark. Wants to get to the Techno Blast, able to do it. Genesect is really good. It really is. It really is. You will not regret the investment, especially since I'm sure the Ultra Halloween Cup will come back again next year. Um, but in comes Crudon. Crudon is able to get off this Crab Hammer. We know it does good damage. Um, it's not going to KO, obviously, but it does do good damage. They're going to be able to throw an attack right now, and it's going to be a Dark Pulse. That actually does not KO, but going to go ahead and switch into Togekiss. It's a Togekiss Mirror Match. OMG. It's a Togekiss Mirror Match. So this Togekiss is going to shield from down, definitely. Uh, and they did get a Charm through, right? So they're going to be able to KO the opposing Togekiss first. But they're literally at like 1 or 2 HP. Gonna go ahead and throw this Ancient Power. Force the final shield from that muck. And it does. Uh, and we do see the boost. They farm down. But that allowed them to get off a couple more charms. Uh, gonna go ahead and shield this. All you need is the Night Slash. And then this Crawdont will be able to KO. Can they get to it? Oh my gosh. Barely able to get to it. Crawdont is hanging on with... A thread of HP, and that is going to be a good game and a good video. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.